My name is Kathleen Sprose Cummings, and I'm a professor of history and American studies. A sacred place for me at Notre Dame is the Founder's Plaque near the Log Chapel and St. Mary's Lake. The words inscribed on it are excerpted from a letter Father Soren wrote to Father Basil Moreau shortly after his arrival in northern Indiana. Gazing upon a frozen landscape, Father Soren envisions building a college that cannot fail to succeed and that will become one of the most powerful means for good in this country. We quote these words often, and justly so. The tale of Notre Dame's evolution from a remote missionary outpost of the Catholic Church into an internationally known research university is an American success story of epic proportions. As a historian, though, I know that public monuments never paint a full picture, and that it's always good to go to seek the original source. The full letter of December 5, 1842, reveals that, immediately after sketching his vision for Notre Dame, Soren asks his superior to reassign him, to send him to live among local indigenous people. He wrote of his love for the Potawatomi and insisted that he saw nothing in the world to be preferred to the condition of a missionary among them. This full narrative makes this space even more sacred to me. As we grapple with how to acknowledge that we teach and learn on the traditional homelands of the Potawatomi, it's good to bear in mind how close these people were to our Founder's heart at this decisive moment in our history. Personally, it compels us to pay careful attention to moments when we, much like Soren, might rather say no to opportunities that unfold before us. The moments when we, perhaps weakened by fear or fatigue, cling too tightly to our own preferences and risk missing the ways God is calling us to transform ourselves and those around us. We know that Father Soren's request was never granted and that he shepherded Notre Dame for the rest of his life. In this season of Advent, how can we too trust in the God who knows us better than we do? The God whose hopes for us far exceed our own expectations and desires and find the courage to answer God's call.